Well, I kind of learned my lesson and I'm not going to be using a gear oil anymore in these manual transmissions. I know I was supposed to use the automatic transfluid, but you know, some people were using the gear oil, which was fine for them. But in this case, I have to go back to automatic transfluid. I just took it one time on the test drive and I did not like the way the transmission was. Um, so it would grind in second and first gear if I'm coasting in neutral and then I'm trying to put it in second or first as I'm coasting, it would just grind. Like it would go into like third or fourth, fine, but it would grind in second and first. It was terrifying. So I was like, nope, I gotta go back to, uh, you know, this regular, I gotta transfer. This is the gear oil that I drained out. It's still clean, actually. Like, it's still fresh fluid, literally, that I changed uh, several months ago. So yeah, now I'm pumping the trans fluid, automatic trans fluid into our manual transmission. All right, that's it. It's draining out. I'm about to install this drain plug or fill plug, and that's it. So this switch was working fine for a while, actually. If you remember the video I made about the the turn signals not working, not staying on. So now there's a bad thing. You see that piece right there? Literally, I was just driving and all of a sudden this thing broke. So now it just kind of doesn't do anything. I mean, it's still working, but it won't stay one way or the other. So that's the piece right here. Unfortunately, yeah. Don't know how it broke. I mean, I wasn't really putting any force on it or anything like that. I don't know. Just decided to break. So there's the piece of it. So I'll just have to change, replace, and install the new one. I'm sure. I don't know. This is probably pretty old. I don't know. Maybe even original to this car. That's fine. All right, guys. We got a brand new ignition or a combination switch right here. I'm going to install it right now. And uh, yeah, we can finally enjoy this thing. <laughs> I have a new switch. I decided to add more grease to it, and now I'm ready to reinstall it back. Okay, now we're gonna connect this connector, which goes right over there. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then I have to reattach these uh, wires for for my horn. All right, so we have the battery connected. Ignition switch is on. We're going to test the switch. Make sure your hazard switch is connected for your turn signals. Let's check this out. Okay. I'm going to check the high beams. Okay, and now we're gonna check the uh, wipers. Nice, amazing. A brand new switch and everything. Also, horn works and everything. Awesome. Just gotta put this back on, this decorative thing. I installed this decorative uh you know leather here piece you know it's not sitting the best the best but i did it as best as i could so got brand new switch guys a few moments later i haven't started this baby in a while let's see how she does guys can see what yeah you can you can actually see the glow plug we <laughs> all right make sure it's in neutral it's a process of starting this old school car yeah it's pretty cold today
guys, I'm test driving this amazing machine. And I gotta tell you, it feels really, really good. There's no more issues with downshifting. All right, so I'm about to actually like downshift. All right, let's see. All right, downshift to third, about to downshift to second. Check this out. No more grinding. I know I didn't film anything beforehand, but it was actually grinding. As I was coasting, I was trying to put it in gear. It was grinding actually. So yeah, right now everything is all fixed up. After changing the trans or fluid and um, yeah, make sure you use the correct fluid. Uh, yeah, I kind of made a mistake, but uh, ever since then I fixed it up and using the right fluid now and also rebuilt the shifter so all right so now I'm in neutral I know my alignment is still pretty shitty so we're gonna go to 20 second gear look at that no more grinding I'm about to like Super happy the car is basically fixed up, guys. Amazing machine. There's still tons of things that need to be done to this car, but yeah, I'm just happy step by step, you know? Gotta order that boot for it. What an amazing car.